with God was something that would not be denied and that woman got what she needed before God and can I tell you that Jesus Christ is the same today and yesterday he will not change him hallelujah he will not change him what do you need from God what do you need from God I'm, I'm, I'm still on the thing of faith, but look, look at Matthew 15. Matthew 15, he says, let's look at the um, Canaanite woman or the Syrophoenician woman. Verse 21, then Jesus went thence and departed into the coasts of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried to him saying have mercy on me O Lord thou son of David my daughter is grievously vexed with the devil but he answered her not a word and his disciples came and besought him saying send her away for she crieth after us but he answered and said I'm not sent but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel then came she and worshipped him saying Lord help me but he answered and said it's not me to give the children's bread and to cast it to dogs and she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Jesus answered and said to her, O oh, woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. It was said that uh, the centurion, remember the centurion came to Jesus, I think his daughter, or no, his servant, needed healing. And uh, just uh, they were sharing how uh, Jesus' mission was to the Jews. And so he didn't get outside of Jewish territory. This was an instance where he had gone to rest, come aside to rest for a while in the uh, coast of Tyre and Sidon. And, but this woman came where he was. And the centurion had a lot of favor with the Jews, and he favored the Jews, and they favored him. And see, Jesus was always concerned about his mission to fulfill it. And so it was said that if he, uh, the, one of the reasons he answered the centurion's prayer was his faith. But the other was this. Uh, since he had such favor with the Jews, it could have been possible that it would have interfered with his mission ministering to the Jews because of the favor that the centurion had. And they said, he loved our synagogue, he loved our people, da, da, da. And so Jesus answered, but the Syrophoenician woman, there was no connection. She was a Gentile. And so first, she came to Jesus there, and it said Jesus didn't say anything. He just, like, he ignored her. And then uh, the writers were sharing about how, uh, at this point, had he began to make it clear or try to minister a lot to the Gentiles, it could have interfered with his mission also. And so with his great wisdom, he simply at first didn't say anything. He knew her faith and so on, but he wanted to bring it out. But he was not quick to just jump on the fact that she was a Gentile and answer prayer. So he began to tell her. He said, um, first he didn't say anything. Then he said, I'm, I'm only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. This is, my, this is my assignment. This is my mission. And so she said, uh, so she came and worshipped him, fell down. Now, the, the study says that, you know, this, this Canaanite woman, she was actually, like, uh, annoying the disciples. They, they were like, get, get her away from us. And, uh, but Jesus carefully handled the situation. Isn't he good? He is so marvelous. He carefully handled the situation. He understood her need. He understood everything. But he understood that she was a Gentile. He understood everything. So first he just ignores her. And then he said, well, I'm only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. 
And then she came and fell down and worshipped him. Lord, help me. He says, not me to give the children bread to dogs. Now, it wasn't that he was trying to insult the Gentile, uh, I, I believe. Now, there's some translations said he was uh, not me to give uh, the children bread to lap dog, like a, 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 a house pet. It was kind of like, during that time it said they had, they had, it was common for them to have lap dogs, or little, you know, little, little pets. And so it was more of the quality, the quantity that he was going to he would give. This is where she was appealing to him. He said, uh, um, "It's not me to give the children bread to dogs, and because the lap dogs had favor in the households." And so uh, that's one 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 uh, explanation. But the point was that uh, I don't think he was trying to insult the Gentiles in this process. And so then she she when he came she came to him and, he, and when he said that she said. True Lord, but yet the little pets or the little puppies or the lap dog, ever how you want to put it, they do eat of the crumbs. She was right. Jesus knew she was right. So, oh, woman, great is your faith. See, faith pleases God. Faith pleases God. Now, he, now in order for our faith to grow, This is a hard one, but it's important. We know we have to allow him to put us in situations that we will believe him so that our faith will grow. That's not pleasant, I, I, I know, but, but, but know how, how faith is, right? God, our faith cannot grow if it's never tested. It's just not going to happen, you know, and, 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 I, and I'm, I'm one of the first one to say I'd rather have it other way, but, right, but truthfully, I'd rather have his will more than anything else, so, and, and so with that in mind, I know that my faith will be tested, and I know your faith will be tested, and uh, some situations are just not pleasant, they're not, but afterward, my father, it yields the peaceable fruit of righteousness, everybody is glad. Lord, I thank you. Haven't you heard some people when they, they're going through, they're just quiet. They ain't saying nothing. Others are praising all around them. They're quiet. They ain't saying nothing. Because they're trying to stay intact with not getting frustrated and not. And then, but after it's all over, hallelujah, you hear from them. Isn't that right? God bring them through. <laughs> Hallelujah. And then they say, God is so good. My God is good. Hallelujah. And you know, it's all right. It's better to say nothing than to say the wrong things. Isn't that right? And so God is good. He's so good. So the Syrophoenician woman, this is what uh, blessed me when the writer was saying. The Syrophoenician woman or the Canaanite woman's faith. Faith to this woman was not a superstitious hope for a miracle, but a solid trust that would not be denied. I love that. I said, my God, wasn't some little hope. I'm hoping that, you know, I, I heard about him. I don't know if he'll, he'll even consider me, but I'm going to see. It wasn't not a hope. That woman had a solid faith that wouldn't take no for an answer. And Jesus knew it was in her. And so he went right on step by step until he brought it out. And she was right there, wouldn't be denied. She just was, was determined and persistent. And it was like this year, she's, it was like she said, he's got it. I know he's got it. I know he can help me. And I'm not giving up. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Hallelujah, hallelujah. And, 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 and that's what pleases God. That's what pleases God. It's, it's, it's like he's got it. He's got what I need. I know he has it. And I know I can get it. And I'm going to get it. Hallelujah. That kind of faith. God didn't, he didn't criticize, didn't rebuke her. He said, oh, woman, great is your faith. My God, you may, you, 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 you may be a Gentile and you may weren't uh, entitled to this until later years and supposed to get it. But your faith has made you whole. Your faith has given you what you needed for concerning your daughter. And, and I was thinking about that. And they were saying that the woman could have done something so different. She could have, uh, her, 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 her national pride could have got in the way. Said, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not messing with this. 
I'm not messing with that Jew, you know. Her, or her personal pride could have gotten in the way, right? But the woman would not be deterred, saints. Are you hearing what I'm saying? She wouldn't be deterred. She knew he had it. And she knew that God, and it wasn't like she grew up a Jew and, and knew all of this about God. She had heard somebody. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Faith come by hearing. Um, whenever you hear the good report of God, um, grab a hold of it. Isn't that right? Don't wait for him to make an example. You believe what God said. God will do what he said. Hallelujah. Because it's faith that pleases the Lord. It's faith that pleases the master. You say, elect this woman said, God got it. And I'm going to get it. He that comes to God must believe that he is, right? And that he is a rewarder of them that persistently or diligently seek him. God's got it. I'm not going to let it go. You remember Jacob in the Bible when Jacob was wrestling with the angel and Jacob had a name that wasn't too good? Supplanter. He didn't want that name. And so one day he was wrestling and life wasn't too good for him. So he got to wrestling with this angel and he wrestled. The angel said, turn me loose, let me go. In other words, if they break in, I, I, I can't, I, I'm not, I, don't want, I'm not, I don't want to be seen during the daybreak. You know, and, and, and so but he was wrestling, wrestling with him. I'm not going to let you go. Until you bless me. And God knew what he needed. He knew that he had a name and a reputation that was not good. And he said, what is your name? Ah, glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. From this point on, your name's going to change. And the name represented who the person was. And, you, know, I, I, you know, God, God, God is good. And so Jacob wrestled with the angel. Anybody feel like being persistent? Anybody feel like being determined? Anybody feel like hallelujah? Said, no, 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 no. God's got it. God's got it. God's got it. God's got it. Ain't no need of me looking nowhere else. God's got it. He's got it. And I know that if I persist, God's going to give it to me. Hallelujah. That's the way God is. That's the nature that's the nature of God. How that woman knew, I don't know. But the beautiful part was, um, but she knew he had it, and she knew that he would get it. Somehow, I don't know, maybe she heard about God being a God of mercy. I don't know. But the one thing was for sure, um, that woman's faith toward God was something that would not be denied, and that woman got what she needed before God. Um, and can I tell you that Jesus Christ is the same today and yesterday. He will not change him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, he will not change them. What do you need from God? What do you need from God? Just keep believing, believe him, don't give up, don't lose heart, believe him, and know that God hears your prayer, for the Bible says the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open to their prayers, God, hallelujah, he's one that will answer, he said, if my people shall will call by my name, would humble themselves and do what? and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways and I'm going to do something I'll hear from heaven I'll heal their land hallelujah I believe God he won't change brothers and sisters he's looking for that desperate cry he's looking for somebody that'll call upon him in the time of need so that he can show himself strong on their behalf God's looking for somebody will you be one will you be one that will stand in the gap and in the hedge and says I'm going to pray until God to visit our city I'm going to pray until God begin to change the economy. I'm going to pray until God will do the impossible. I'm going to keep on praying. Sometime I'm going to pray until God to visit my loved ones. I'm, I'm going to keep on praying. I'm not going to throw in the towel, but I'm going to keep right on praying. For God says, you hear my prayer. If I keep on praying, and I'm going to keep on praying, it may look dark before it gets light, but I'm going to pray. I'm going to keep on praying because I believe that God will reward a diligent seeker. That's the nature of my God. So he said, call upon me in a time of trouble, and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you know not. This is the hour that God God is looking for people to rise up and call upon his name. Will you be one? Will you be one that will call upon the Lord? They that know their God. They that know the Lord. They that know their God. Shall be strong. And do exploits. Hallelujah. God is looking for warriors. 
God is looking for believers. God is looking for the tough. When the strong, when those, hallelujah, when the times get rough, when the times get tight and the days get dark, then God needs children of light that will stand in the hedge and in the gap and call upon the Lord until heaven come down, until Zion comes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God said when Zion travailed, she brought forth. And I believe God is saying, I want my intercessors on their faces before God that will cry unto God. God, um, that will cry unto God um, because God is a merciful God. God is a God of mercy. You know, God can't just hear a person's crying out to God with the sincerity of their heart and ignore their cry. Hallelujah. You remember this about Moses and God, God, the children of Israel, uh, they were crying out to God. They had sinned and messed up. And then Moses was interceding. Hallelujah. It was like, God, leave me alone. Let me just deal with this, people. But Moses, the man was interceding. And there's something about intercession prayer with a righteous person. He kept on interceding and, and it was pulling on God um, and seeing God. Moses knew something about God's mercy. And so he was calling on God. Uh, he knew that God um, is a God of mercy. And yes, he can, do, he can do the judgment, but God is first and foremost a God of mercy. And so Moses was standing in the gap and pleading with God. And I, and I heard the Bible says, God said to Moses, Moses, let me alone, man. In other words, you getting to me. Yeah, these people are rebels. Da, da, da. But, but, but Moses wouldn't let him go. He kept right on interceding. What about you? Will you intercede for your loved one? Will you intercede for them now until God, until God bring forth them salvation to your loved ones? What about you now? Will you pray for those cities? Will we pray for the inner city? And oh, what which are so deplorable. Will we pray for the inner cities um, until God reign righteousness? Um, for he said, where sin did abound, grace did much more abound. There's more grace for us now. And we can see the hand of God's grace um, as we call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon me, he said, in a time of trouble, and I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things that you know not. <laughs> Hallelujah. And it's an hour. When we can frequent the throne of God, faith pleases our Lord. Let's not get weary and tired and well-doing. Lord, I've prayed and I'm tired. It looks like nothing is going to change. Let there come a revival in our faith. Hallelujah. Let's let God revive us today. Oh, the lying demons have come and they've put forth lies. But God says, no, no, no. I'm a God that hears and answers prayer. I'm a God, hallelujah, that I'm touched with the feelings of uh, your infirmities. I'm a God, um, hallelujah, that loves, that, that will come and heal the oppressed and lift up the bowed down heads. And I will strengthen the feeble knees but I need an intercessor I need someone that will stand in the gap so that I'll not bring the judgment I'll not let the enemy do what he want to do if I get someone to stand in the gap hallelujah hallelujah I'll make the change and I will reign upon that soul I'll reign upon that household I'll reign upon the families I'll reign I'll show my power I'll show my power and I'll loose the bands of wickedness from off other people hallelujah and I'll bring great joy to that city hallelujah if I get these intercessors if I get my people in position then I can run my play I can do that which nobody can do. God is alive. Faith. Faith. We believe him together. Let's ask him for a renewed strength and a renewed determination today. Heavenly Father, I thank you. And I give your name the glory. Revive our hearts today. Revive us Holy Father, for you are so gracious and you are plenty in mercy. We need your strength. We need your wisdom. We need the touch that comes from God. And Lord God, there was the woman with the issue of blood. 
And this woman pressed through a crowd of people. My God. Ceremonially, she could not qualify. She was unclean. But somehow, this woman pressed through the crowd and to get to Jesus. She said, if I but touch his, the hem of his garment, I shall be whole. All the odds was against her, but she pressed. Somebody say press. She pressed through the crowd, and she got her miracle. God is the same yesterday, today. And I heard the Lord say, he said, delight yourself in him, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. And I heard him also bring to my mind about the book of Philippians Philippians says and basically implied that if you want to walk in victory be always be finding find yourself in doing the three always praying always rejoicing and always giving thanks ah glory to God if you if you're stuck it'll bring you right out God will bring you right out God is winning he's with us saints strengthen your people now by your Holy Spirit we thank you for the love you have Thank you for the steadfast love, God. Thank you for the hope that's in Christ. Jesus, our Lord. Build and strengthen and heal. Now by your spirit, O God, we'll surely give the glory to you. We'll surely give the honor to you. Help from your sanctuary. Help from your sanctuary. In the name of Jesus. Touch them by way of television, Lord, uh, who's listened to this broadcast and, and need a divine strength and a lift from God. Touch them now, Master. Stretching forth your hands to heal, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, be lifted up, be glorified. In the name of Jesus Christ, release upon them now the strength that only you can give. Hallelujah. There's someone here that's listening by web television. There's a situation that you're in right now and God's admonition to you is believe Him. Let Him revive your spirit. Let faith arise in your soul. God will bring you out. That's his intention to bring you out. God says to you, grab a hold of faith now. A new faith, a new resolve that God is God. And he will bring me through this. Have a new attitude now and God's going to bring you through whoever you are. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Master. Thank you for the divine touch of God. Oh God, Ramoshanda. There's a woman that is facing something right now in your body and you being tormented and afflicted. But God says, You're the word of the Lord. God says, He's a right now God. Like the woman with the issue of blood, she had exhausted all of her money and all the seeking of the help from the physicians nothing brought about the change but God says he want to make a change if you're listening to me right now ma'am if you're listening now this word is for you you'll feel the witness in your spirit God's talking to you he want to make the difference and he want to get glory out of your life thank you father thank you father thank you Jesus hallelujah I had a, a vision of a woman that's watching the broadcast today and you're troubled and burdened about your son but God said he heard your cry and he heard your prayer and God said he's going to undertake his cause and you will see the hand of the Lord because of your faith going up to God hallelujah God said he's will turn the situation around it will work for his good lord we thank you we ask you for grace for this mother in the name of jesus give her strength hallelujah and give her peace 
in the name of Jesus, for nothing is too hard for you, nor anything impossible. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah, Jesus, that you're going to bring her son through and bring him out. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We praise you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And there's another woman that's been praying for her son. Hallelujah. That's in the gang uh, culture. And God is going to turn it around. God is going to deliver him out of it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you will see the hand of the Lord. Hallelujah. In his situation. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Not only will he come out, bring him out, but he, he's going to save him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You can claim that promise. You can stand on the word of God. For he will not lie. Hallelujah. His word will not return void. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, let's give God praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Glory to God. Glory to God. There is a man of God. There's a man of God that uh, you, you're, you're contemplating giving up and trying something else. In, in your eyes and minds, the ministry is not worked. It's not working for you as what you felt. But hear the word of the Lord today. God said he wants you to look again toward him and believe him. And God's about to turn some things around for you. But you've got to have a new resolve. And begin to settle it in your heart that God has called you and you are going to obey God and God's going to turn things around for you drastically but you must believe him now God said don't throw in the towel don't give up don't change what you plan and what God has put in your heart but do it and believe God and a new hope and a new resolve hallelujah is coming your way father I thank you for that man of God Oh God, I thank you for him. Do what you promise. Lift him, lift his spirit from the guttermost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for turning things around for him. Cause him to know that you're God. That man's extremities. It's God's opportunity. Thank you for him now. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Come on, let's give God praise.